What's going on guys, Joe Thome GRC here. So today talking about the Red Cat Clawback. One fifth scale crawler. This thing is a beast. So uh, it's gonna be hard to kind of get too close to it because it's gonna go out of the picture because this thing is so big. Uh, how big is this thing? This thing's about 43 inches long from bumper to bumper. So uh, yeah, definitely a big RC truck. Um, what does it come with? So what it comes with here, it's gonna be this radio here three channel does have some little mode buttons that are on here so because this has four wheel steer means the front wheels will turn as well as the back ones if you so desire by clicking the different modes it has like the crab walk what have you so it can kind of go from side to side a little bit too it's pretty cool I did it in my video yesterday just a, a brief one um, so it's got where you can do the front turns like normal or you can have the rear turn or you can have all you know four wheels turn or you can do that that uh, crab walk as well that's pretty cool. I like it. Four double A's that come in here. Anyhow, it's got a little foam grip that's on it. Not bad. It feels decent in the hand anyhow. So not bad. Uh, as far as your body clips go, you get eight of them. So you got four on top here. You got four in the rear. And you get two on the side on both sides there. All right. Things that I want to do with this vehicle. Uh, let's, get, let's hold off on that for a second. Um, you know, you do get a wall charger here. You do get... I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, as far as this uh, one here, just take your wheels off. You get a little Allen that's here as well. You get a little, you know, this is a straw for your actual antenna. And then you get a 3800 milliamp. This is gonna be a nickel metal hydride battery, 7.2 volts that's here. This thing ran for probably a good half an hour and it didn't kill the battery, so not bad. Now, keep in mind, it only goes about two to three miles an hour so it's not a fast vehicle but again a crawler they say you know it's not walk we didn't say it's walking you didn't say it's running it's a crawler so it crawls that's it anyway um, you do get an instruction manual as well to kind of go through that that's cool now I want to kind of show you something too this is kind of put the servos in perspective this is gonna be your standard servo right here right see this is a standard one. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna take this body top off here real quick. Let's see if you can kind of put this in perspective just a little bit. Standard servo, behemoth servo. <laughs> Big difference there as far as even just the side of it from the side. You're like, oh yeah, it's just a little guy. You're like, oh, is that a micro server? Ser a servo? That's not a micro. That's the standard one, you know, that you'll find like in some of your, in your 110 scales for sure, your 1.8 scales, sometimes even into uh, bigger scales than that and they still use that one but not in this one there's two of these so you got one in the front and you have the one in the rear as well uh, motors these are 550 motors so not a big motor it's a 42 turn motor so really low on, on the rpms but higher on the torque on that part of it and that's what this thing's all about right it's a it's, it's trying to get the traction it's a big vehicle so it's got a little bit of weight to it. I'm gonna say this thing probably weighs somewhere, I don't know. I didn't weigh it. So it's, I would feel like it's over 10 pounds for sure. Uh, most of the weight is gonna be these tires. You got the servo, you got your motor that sits in here. A lot of that weight, and the one thing that's good where the weight's at, it's on the axle. Because that's where you wanna get that traction. You wanna put that, that weight down on these tires. So that's good on that part. I do like motor over axle, anyhow, a motor on axle. I do like that, I, I'm, I don't really care. I, it's not a bad system. So, uh, you know, even the old school here, as far as Tania, that has a motor on axle. And it's not bad. Uh, again, it keeps that weight low, and you, so you don't roll over having things up higher as far as that center of gravity. Anyway, that is that on that part of it. So if you're looking to buy one of these things here, you know, these things aren't cheap, but it's, it's big and it's gonna get attention. And uh, it's gonna get more attention as I put more stuff on it. But uh, I definitely, you know, there's the, it kind of gets into that, that area of is that a Walmart you know like not to say that Walmart RC car but it's that big where you're thinking like oh it's like for some little kid but you know it's this is you know hobby grade stuff here but it's just so big it's like it's crazy looking you're like what the heck anyway it's hard it's hard to say it on video as far as how to put it in perspective it's like like I said 43 inches long it's big so uh, it's bigger than my shredder here by about 10 inches so the shredder's not really a small one either. So and these tires here, they're like eight inches tall. So they're not really small tires, but it looks weird because of that gap that's here when I had the body on. 
So I would like to put some kind of inner fender well. Would be kind of cool in here. That's that. I would like to do the windows clear and put some kind of interior in it as well. So there's things I, w I have in mind. But main thing was when I bought it, and I had to. <laughs> I don't want to go down this road again, but this might happen. So I'm gonna test it out a little bit. And what I'm getting at as far as, you know, upgrade. Oh, we want to make it faster. And when you make things faster, things break, right? So what I'm getting at is my, my shredder was a perfect example of getting it and wanting to make it faster just about instantly once. Even right when I got it, I was already ordering a different motor for it. And I reverted back to the stock one because why I didn't wasn't breaking. I don't break stuff so much. I haven't broken anything once I put it back to stock. When I had it success there was things that were issues with it so what i'm getting at is that if i go with some uh, brushless motors that are in here we'll have to see i'm going to test this stuff i'm going to test a little bit as far as what motors you know as far as what kvs are going to be decent for it i don't want to go with a high kv because obviously this thing's pretty heavy even though it's going to be carrying in two but i'll probably have to do like a, a two electronic speed controllers into one and then of course i have to do a little bit of different with the wiring there so i don't burn up my receiver and all that kind of good stuff so I gotta check into that guys. You guys can leave a comment down below in regards to two electronic speed controllers into one receiver. I know you have to pull the, I think it's the positive wire off of one of the electronic speed controllers so you don't double your voltage into the receiver. Something like that. Now, I haven't done it ever. So new territory for me as far as that goes. But uh, I'm excited for this vehicle. And that's the other thing. I don't wanna give you guys like, oh yeah, you gotta go and get this thing. I mean, yeah, granted it's big and it's awesome. Definitely cool on that part of it. But I'm going to let it kind of soak in a little bit. Say, oh, you know, I, this is what I found. These are things I didn't like about it. There's some stuff I don't like about it. They're very cosmetic, right? Uh, as far as the way the vehicle handles and drives, it's big. And uh, I like that part of it. And it, it crawls pretty well. Uh, as far as what I was doing yesterday in the video, I'll put, it, I'll put that video in just in case you guys are coming in here and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Where's that video at? I'll put it at the end of the video anyhow, anyhow on here. So that way you guys can check it out if you missed it by chance anyway. I'm digging this thing and also because I know, you know, I did talk about the brushless systems and some of you guys were already like, well, when are you going to do the brushless systems? Like, you got to stay tuned. And some of the, one of the guys was like, well, if I know you, it won't be too long until you actually do the brushless system. Like I said, I'm going to test it all out before I go ahead and do that. I'm going to test it out as far as different, like I said, KV motors, trying to get enough wheel speed that I'm going to be happy with. Uh, you know, and also doing my dual electronic speed controllers in here. This thing's got plenty of room, so the space is not an issue on it at all. I mean, when it comes to the batteries that are here, this thing has got loads of space. So, like I said, I'm not worried about that part of it, but I just want to make sure that I get the right motive for what I want to do. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, this thing is so awesome. Uh, it is the biggest RC vehicle I owned to this day and it's just it's really awesome looking i definitely dig it it's cool red cat that's pretty awesome that you guys came out with this one fifth scale crawler so i definitely am digging it i don't see too many fifth scale crawlers like this anyhow they're kind of freakish right but uh anyway i like it it's cool let me know what you guys think about this vehicle I'm going to have more of this anyhow. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to go over to our website, omgrc.com, right there for all your hobby goodness. Sign up for our newsletter. Check us out. You know, Let us know what we're doing as far as when it comes to the comments down below, what you like, what you didn't like. Let us know. Anyway, until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.